Hello everyone, and welcome to my Chain Lightning build guide for leveling from 0 to 50 level in Season 1. It looks like the big nerfs patch we got on 18 of July, it doesn't really affect too much the early game. I believe the experience of leveling is almost same for solo players, with any class. So we should enjoy that. I reached level 50 pretty fast and smooth, even if had a lot of breaks for real life. Also I mostly have the same gear as 20 levels before, only dungeon aspects, and no aspect never on weapon to preserve materials. The weapon is one I always swap immediately if I get a higher power one, so that is why no aspect on her. With many rolls on gear being useless. As I felt don't need maxing gear so early. In the build info part of video, I will explain though the recommended stats. In the start of the season, we have option to skip campaign, also some of our renown it does carry over. If finished renown in eternal server, we start with 6 skill points from renown, also just a bit short to get the level 3 renown in every zone, for extra skill points. Thing that I recommend do around level 30. The build starts with, chain lightning and spark, is a good combination to get critical chance and fill the gap caused by mana in early game. Build evolves in using Lightning Spear for stuns, Hydra for low mana cost and extra DPS, Teleport for mobility, and Flame Shield our best defense tool. Take note, around level 25 to 30, should transit into unstable currents by replacing Hydra with it. In season, we get new items that can be socket in rings or amulets. Hearts of Malignant. Early game they are not really worth grind for, they seem to get very strong in end game. I did equip what could get in Season Quest, and I do like the pick and a heart I got. In my next video build for level 70 Chain Lightning, I do grind for specific hearts that seem strong at that point. Like said bit earlier, when have enough points make the transit, replace Hydra with unstable currents and add overflow energy key passive. I did this at level 27. Probably you noticed, I do go for Fireball as first enchantment is such good way early on for faster clearing and XP. The second enchantment at level 30, I pick Chain Lightning for more DPS. But both of them are very flexible choice, can work other enchants same build. In my capstone dungeon boss fight, I swapped enchantment Fireball to Lightning Spear. As you can freely do that no costs. Would like to explain why I keep using a staff, even with the big nerfs we got in last patch. For me, the staff is still better in early game, for chain lightning. We do not have access to high cooldown rolls, the build also is not really cooldown dependent at this stage, as we don't need vulnerable or frost nova. I keep my take, investing in vulnerable early game it doesn't pay off, low uptime and few options now to buff damage multiplier. Also consider early game mana issues, will favor us having lower attack speed but harder hits. The build will transit into vulnerable at level 70 when we have tools to buff a lot vulnerable damage by gear affixes and paragon, but also we get higher cooldown affixes on gear. At that point we change into 1 plus offhand 2, more details in my future video build for level 70 to 100. I did not upgrade my items till did capstone dungeon at level 40, to preserve materials. I do not suggest anyone should do so, just pointing out if you do upgrade items and chase good affixes, the build works even better. I only use dungeon aspects, as at this point cannot suggest to people to wait on drops. If you want to chase affixes early game, your best are in this order, critical chance, anything related to mana sustain be it reduction or maximum mana or even generation of it. Critical damage and intelligence stat as multipliers, damage to crowd control or to stun enemies, lightning damage or core damage. Very good to have also plus ranks of any skills you use, most important chain lightning. Even attack speed is good but do not go too much into it unless you also cover mana sustain better. The same applies to using aspect elementalist, is best in slot if, and only if, you invest a lot of time early game for perfecting mana sustained by gear. I don't think is worth do that, but if you do it, then slap elementalist aspect on amulet when you confident can keep mana over 100. Now to talk a bit why I did capstone dungeon at level 40. Because I do want to provide people with information on my build's work, in time. So this made me rush a bit to reach level 50. But is really no need, and not recommend it. 
Everyone should enjoy the game at his own pace, you can just do it at level 50 as game suggests to do, and is same achievement. If you want to rush, maybe 45 plus is ideal. And this give a bit of experience gain advantage to move early world tier 3. Till level 40, I did not do strongholds in idea to finish them when reach world tier 3. As we'll get a lot more experience if finish them so. When you move world tier 3, most monsters zones and dungeons are level 55. But if you go complete a stronghold they are not, they are only 2 levels above you. So I could easily complete all strongholds from level 41 to 47. Like I said, you can apply same tactic but suggest be at least level 45 for a nice gaming experience even outside strongholds in open world. As if not, the level 55 monsters in open world are bit tough for only level 40. And you really won't look for sacred items once you reach world tier 3. I found my first sacred weapon around level 46, that is great increase in DPS, but felt a bit late drop. Now we'll show all build info. This is the gear I had on reach level 50. I will repeat some info, for people that made gameplay and notes part. I only use dungeon aspects, as at this point cannot suggest to people to wait on drops. I also did not chase good rolls on gear, if you want to chase affixes early game, your best are in this order, critical chance, anything related to mana sustain be it reduction or maximum mana or even generation of it. Critical damage and intelligence stat as multipliers, damage to crowd control or to stunned enemies, lightning damage or core damage, plus ranks of any skills, most important chain lightning, even attack speed is good but do not go too much into it unless you also cover mana sustain better. The same applies to using aspect elementalist, is best in slot if, and only if, you invest a lot of time early game for perfecting mana sustained by gear. I don't think is worth do that, but if you do, then slap elementalist aspect on amulet when you are confident can keep mana over 100. The build starts with, chain lightning and spark, is a good combination to get critical chance and fill the gap caused by mana in early game. Build evolves in using lightning spear for stuns, hydra for low mana cost and extra dps, teleport for mobility, and flame shield our best defense tool. Take note, around level 25 to 30, should transit into unstable currents by replacing Hydra with it. In season, we get new items that can be socket in rings or amulets. Hearts of Malignant. Early game they are not really worth grind for, they seem to get very strong in end game. I did equip what could get in season quest, and I do like the pick and a heart I got. In my next video build for level 70 chain lightning, I do grind for specific hearts that seem strong at that point. Like said bit earlier, when have enough points make the transit, replace Hydra with unstable currents and add overflow energy key passive. I did this at level 27. Probably you noticed, I do go for Fireball as first enchantment. Is such good way early on for faster clearing and XP. The second enchantment at level 30, I pick Chain Lightning for more DPS. But both of them are very flexible choice, can work other enchants same build. In my capstone dungeon boss fight, I swapped enchantment fireball to lightning spear. As you can freely do that no costs. My next videos, chain lightning build for 50 to 70 level, followed by 70 to 100. We'll have all renown finished, paragon board for those level ranges and grind the malignant hearts I have in mind. Also after level 50 the gear affixes are important. Thank you for watching.